children now let us see exercise 9.1 first question identify the terms their coefficients for each of the following expressions okay so in this first question that is 5xyz square minus 3zy how many terms are there two terms are there yes we'll see there are two terms which are 5xyz square is the first term second term you should take the negative sign also second term you will tell it as minus 3 zy so two terms are there 5 x y z square that is the first term next term is minus 3 z y so two terms are there okay so coefficient what is the coefficient which is the number together who is there together okay together with the variables who is there which is the number okay coefficient okay now we'll see that so in this first term which is the number together with the variable it is 5 in the next term which is the number you should take negative sign together with that so it is minus 3 is the coefficient of the second term 5 is the coefficient of the first term now we will uh, see the solution part one by one ok these are the questions we will see the solution part so expressions are given expression means the both the terms together with the operation is the expression variable constant and with the addition or subtraction sign together you call it as an expression now terms how many terms are there you told it is you should write it in one by one one after the other itself you should note it down in the classwork note the same way one after the other that is 5x y z square first you will write next you will write it as minus 3 z y okay these are the two terms and coefficient is 5 and minus 3 it is given now the next term it is first term is 1 next is x next is x square three terms are there what is it it is trinomial three terms are there okay one x and x square three terms are there so what is the which is the number together one is having only that number one so that is the coefficient one x means it is one x though we are not writing one it is understood that x means it is one x so the coefficient is one x square also though the number is not there it is known as which is uh, taken as what okay if nothing is given the number given is one only okay so x square means the coefficient will be one understood now next question 4x square y square minus 4x square y square z square plus z square so three terms are coming terms means which will uh, how can you identify that minus is coming here plus is coming okay so it, it is having three terms this is one term this is one term and this one is another term okay so you have you, you are writing it like this 4x square y square first term next is minus 4x square y square z square and third term is z square so which are the numbers coming here it is 4 here it is minus 4 and here nothing is given so it is 1 okay so terms and now third four uh, fourth fifth and sixth question here 3 minus pq plus qr minus rp how many terms are there four terms are there so can we call it as a mono monomial no binomial no trinomial no it is a polynomial it is having four terms so we can call it as a polynomial so you are writing 3 minus pq qr and minus rp okay so what are the coefficient which are the numbers together here it is 3 minus 1 is written because nothing is given the numbers are not given so it is understood that it is 1 only so minus 1 here qr means it is 1 minus rp means minus 1 is the coefficient okay same way fifth one x by 2 plus y by 2 minus x y so here terms are x by 2 is a term y by 2 is the next term and x y is the third term so three terms are there that means it is trinomial okay so you are writing the terms three terms you are writing which are the number together together with 
x it is 1 by 2 1 by 2 into x is only x by 2 1 by 2 into x is x by 2 so the number is 1 by 2 y by 2 means 1 by 2 into y is only y by 2 so the number is 1 by 2 minus x y so nothing is given so you can write it as minus 1 is the coefficient now last one point 0.3 a point uh, minus point 0.06 a b plus point 0.5 b so the numbers which are together 0 0.3 is the number given next one minus 0 0.6 is the number given and 0 0.5 is the number given these are the coefficients okay now we'll go to the next problem